There is a matrilineal community which lives in the mountains of China. It is matrilineal to such an extent that there is no other comparable community in the world. Are you building a house? Yes. When did you start building it? January 10th. Of this year? Yes, this year. What's the name of your lineage? Anibima. And what's your name? Nima. How old are you? 32. What kind of work do you normally do? I work outdoors. What kind of work? I cut down trees. How many of you are there in your lineage? Nine. Who is the eldest in your generation? Dawa is the eldest. How many brothers and sisters do you have? There are six of us, five brothers and one sister. Five brothers? So there are a lot of helping hands in your lineage? Yes, we manage. With one sister, you will then have descendants. Yes, there's no problem there. With the so many brothers, is there a danger that you will be separated? No, no danger of that. In the tradition of our people, the Na, all members of the same lineage live together for all of their lives. From the very beginning, our custom is not to be separated. In one lineage, the more the better. There should not be any separation. It's our custom. Please introduce us to the members of your lineage. This is a great grandmother. Over there is grandmother. This is a sister. Oh no, she is one of the daughters. Then my up there is the maternal great uncle. She is a sister. He is a brother. Here is another sister. That's all. All of you together form our lineage. You work, eat, and live together? Yes, that's right. Do you live on the same roof? What are the size of the lineage may be? Yes, even if there are 20 or 30 of us, we stay together. A lineage which splits up, you know, is not well looked upon. All the members of one lineage are blood relatives. For example, in my house, all of the members of my generation are born of two women who both have the same mother. We are all descendants of one female ancestor. We all live, and always, under the same roof. According to our tradition, it's the eldest daughter and son who manage the household. If they can't, others take their place. But by tradition, it's the eldest.